<laughs> so recently I began to rewrite well not really rewrite just to I went back to my old abandoned blog I you know, so reading through it I started to notice a couple of people missing <laughs> and a couple of people like you know that returned from the depths of wherever the hell they were I kind of started to make out a list of like a cast of characters for this blog being I would call them you know the keepers and the sweepers which I guess would be people that you deal with on a continuous basis and then people that kind of just jump in here and there for no reason and I this blog basically stretches over three years well it, it will when I finish it will have stretched over three years of me typing all this crap up and I, I forgot a lot of things that happened in between time so I've been rummaging through old emails and talking to people that were involved to see if they could ha add anything interesting to it you know at least the people that know about it because most people don't know about it and don't try to google yourselves you won't find yourself in the blog I changed your names I changed my name too <laughs> cause it's that deep right but no and I, I one of the first entries in the blog I titled Flashback Sunday cause it involved me and Nick we uh we're bored one day and we looked through our old phone book he went through like his old cell phone and I ran around looking for this fucking piece of paper and we decided to call some people that we haven't spoken to in a long time we used to be on this phone chat line called the loop so we accumulated a bunch of different phone numbers from a bunch of different people you either deal with them still or you don't and so we called this dude Angel and he was like a male nurse great big flamer He's like, oh, I got hit by a car and almost died. And he gave us this, like, long-ass crazy story. And we're like, damn. And Nick goes, I'm going to call him back or whatever. And it's like, funny how you think you're going to keep track of someone and you just lose them all over again. So I'm like, no, you know, I need to do that. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to recoup all the little lost souls of the loop. And I eventually do recover many many people there's like two or three missing and I run across this one dude and it turns out he's dead and I'm like damn what do you mean I called him and his grandfather answered the phone and apparently like the guy's girlfriend killed him and I, I told Julia and Julia's like well damn and she starts thinking about it because she was on it too and she was looking for this guy who apparently had the package and I'm like, well, see, if my friend's dead, yours might be too. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> He's around. He, like, moved to Brooklyn or something. But I started thinking, you know what, people should keep track of each other better. Because, I mean, people die. And, uh, you know, you, you make it like a joke because, you know, everybody's young or whatever. But no, 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 no. Some things can happen. And niggas do die. And most of the other people that are missing, they in jail. Some of them just turned out to be freaky. All kind of stuff. But long story short, keep track of your friends. You may need to use them for whatever reason. Or, you know, hey, they may be washed up on a shore somewhere and that's just not cool. Oh, I just got a text message. What the fuck? I hate that damn thing. I need to put the ringer back on. 